What's up everybody on YouTube? Saturday afternoon. Got up and ran 16 miles this morning. Then we took a load to the dump. Then we came back, got everything staged, and went out putting the glass in this tank. I got it prepped. The whole silverware was going to be applied. I went ahead and just gently scuffed it with 60 grit sandpaper on the back of the pond armor just to give it a little bit of tooth to grab onto the silicone to bite into. I got the glass all clean. I used denatured alcohol just to get anything off of it so there won't be anything compromising the seal. And as you can see, I've got all my braces. I put styrofoam pieces that was the uh, it was the underlayment for the the beast, the one inch. I cut into a whole bunch of pieces so I can have my my boards pressing from the back all the way up to the front. I got a little bit of excess ooze, but I've got a really, really heavy bead of silicone on the back side of this glass up against the framing. And I'm gonna give it a couple days to cure before I start to play with this at all. Over here on this side, I did something kind of, uh, I've got my 96 inch piece here, goes all the way to the left side, and then I've got a 14 inch piece on that side, and behind this here, piece in this front framing, they meet, they butt right up together with silicone. And then there's silicone to the back of this, the whole thing is inch and a half all the way around is siliconed. The glass is siliconed up to it. And then I have a quarter inch by inch and a half piece of glass opposite this, covering that seam, silicone to it, and around the edge. That's the silicone that you see right there. It's a little bit excess silicone, but that's okay. I can clean some up and, and it's not going to be an effect that's going to cause me any grief. I'd rather have a little bit extra silicone than any extra leaks. And then when I was doing this the other day, getting prepped for this the other day, I went ahead, we went underneath, and we went ahead and got our one and a half inch return line from the return pump. It comes up, I've got a 45 little piece, I got my union, another small section, my 45, it goes underneath all the way up the back. And then it goes all the way up and it pops out. It's a lot of glare, I don't think we can see that, but there's a one and a half inch outlet back there. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have a spray bar or any anything special. I mean, it's not that big a deal. I'm kind of wanting to try it that way first to see what the flow is like. And, uh, <clears throat> well, there you have it. I've got left to do. I got this to cure for a couple of days, clean up the silicone. And I'm going to do uh, some more silicone on my seams and look at anything. I do know with silicone that if there's anything that's at all questionable, silicone will stick to new silicone that's only a few days old. Uh, you don't want to put it with silicone that's got any age or wear on it at all. So for a few days I've got uh, to look at this before it ever receives any water. Make sure everything's in good shape. Check it out. Give it a... About a week and a half or two weeks to cure. Then we're gonna go ahead and test fill it. See what we got. All right, everybody. I just want everybody to see what we had going on here. An update. Later.